Well, this was an exciting week. After this knockdown, drag out election, all the money spent, all the time consumed, we had one winner. And it was God. It was God. So, no, no matter which team you were on, we can all acknowledge that God won. And I say that because of this Isaiah 40 says this. Who has directed the Spirit of the Lord, or as his counselor has informed him? With whom did he consult, and, with who, and who gave him understanding? And who taught him in the path of justice, and taught him knowledge, and informed him of the way of understanding? Behold, the nations are like a drop of bucket, from a bucket, and are regarded as a speck of dust on the scales. If you were on the winning team, you're probably breathing a sigh of relief. If your team lost, you're probably experiencing anything from discouragement all the way to depression at some level. But regardless of what team you're on, we know that God wins. Why? Because He controls the nations of the universe, nations of our world. He controls the leaders. He places them, and He brings them down. In fact, He says, He it is who reduces rulers to nothing, verse 23 of Isaiah 40, who makes the judge of the earth meaningless. Scarcely have been so planted, scarcely have been sown, scarcely has their stock taken root in the earth, and He merely blows on them, and they wither. Scarcely have they been elected, and they quickly fade away. We need to be careful not to put too much stock in our political teams and who gets elected. Our stock is in God. He wills this entire universe for His glory and the good of His people. We need to be all about the mission, and our mission is to bring Christ into our culture, into our city, into our neighborhoods. We need to proclaim the gospel. We need to encourage people to come and believe that God's telling the truth, to repent of their sins and believe Jesus Christ and begin obeying Him with their lives. That's how we're going to change our country. That's how we're going to change our city. So I hope you're about His mission. I hope that whatever you're feeling as a result of it, whether your team won or lost, you recognize that God wins. He, didn't count, he doesn't seek your counsel. He doesn't seek my counsel. That's what Isaiah 40 is saying. We can pray to Him and we can ask of Him and ultimately we trust Him and He's not looking for our counsel. But rather, he has a plan, he's working his plan. And it is ours to come into that and to promote his agenda amidst all that's going on around us. So I hope that it is your confidence today, that your joy, that as we as God's people pray for our leaders and pray for our president, President Obama, that you will seek to promote his agenda and promote what he desires. And that is clear in scripture and certainly a couple of key things that we need to continue on a national scale promoting is promoting life that God creates life in the womb, and that uh, we as his people need to stand up for the unborn. Uh, as well, we need to continue standing up for um, freedom of religion, not freedom from religion, freedom of religion, as we continue to promote the kingdom of God and enjoy um, being his hands and feet here in our country. So I hope your confidence is in God, I hope your joy is in him, and I hope you are about his mission today.